They say that when these geese are migrating, if one of them is injured, two other geese will fly down and stay with them until they're either able to fly again or they die. It's amazing how like in tune they are with one another. And clearly they work hard at it. They fly down here every year because they harvest the crops around this area in West Texas. And they come to forage off of the seeds and remnants, whatever's left. And they'll go out and clear the fields year after year to fatten up while it's snowing up in Canada. And then they fly home. I guess there's a lot to be learned about by watching nature. I feel like a lot of um, a lot of what we're going through right now, in many ways, is um, an awakening. That we're rather than thinking we're all born with rights. I deserve this. I deserve that. It's more like we're born with responsibilities, you know? Responsibility to take care of one another, to defend one another. <sighs> and I feel like our society's kind of gotten to a breaking point where we can't ignore it any longer. There's a, a fiery rage boiling up for people that <sighs> have suffered too long people that have been entitled for too long. There's an empathy deficit. And it's time to change it. So, I've been quiet for the last few months, but it's not because I didn't have anything to say. I think far from it. It's because what I did have to say probably wasn't going to help the situation. <clears throat> it was starting to make me bitter, hard, angry, very least frustrated and so I've always believed that if you really want to change something the only thing you can do is change yourself you know so the last few months I've been doing a lot of changing it's been amazing I feel like a completely different human being in a good way I have I feel, I can't, honestly, I've never felt this good in my life. And it's not like an artificial high. <laughs> I've been meditating a lot and it's doing something to me. It's changing me inside. And it's not just quiet meditation, trying to quiet my mind. No, I've been doing ohms. It's such a weird thing. I, I was never much of a woo-woo kind of guy. I'm spiritual, I'm a believer, but you know, some of these people, some of these people take it a little too far. It feels like performative, you know? It's not, it's not actually trying to be better. But here I am, look at me trying to judge people. <laughs> but yeah, I've been meditating. At first it's, I couldn't do it very well. I could only do it maybe five minutes, 10 minutes. I'd either get bored or just frustrated. I'd start with, you know, just, one note like oh like that and I can only go for like 10 seconds 20 seconds maybe run out of breath but now I can go like a full minute just deep bellowy like oh. and I feel my insides being reorganized, being cleansed, you know? Like, like I opened up all the windows on a spring morning, and I cleaned the house, scrubbed all the counters, cleaned the floors, dusted everything, went, washed all the windows, got all the laundry done, and I didn't have anything to worry about ever again, at least to the next time it gets dirty. And the more I meditate, the more it just kind of stays that way. But then the last month, 
specifically, I'm starting to get answers I've been looking for my whole life. Questions about why I keep doing certain things or why I can't, can't get over something, why I can't forgive somebody, why I can't be happy all the time, you know? <laughs> and it's, I've, my depression has been, it's been cured. The last month I haven't been depressed for anything. <clears throat> I'm just happy. <laughs> and I'll tell you what the big change was. The big change was the realization that I am love. I am love. That's all I am. I, there's no, when you are love, there's no room for anything else. There's no room for fear. There's no room for anger or jealousy, resentments. Nothing. Love is love. You either love somebody or you don't love somebody. If you judge somebody, you're not loving them. If you hate somebody, you're not loving them. And it's like, uh, we're like, we're like magnets, you know? We are magnets that attract whatever it is that we focus on. And my problem's always been that I focus, I'm gonna be a good person today. I'm gonna, I'm gonna love people today. I'm gonna love myself today. But then 10 minutes later, I'm like, Oh, that person, I, I hate that they did that to me. Doing anything that changes your state from anything from I am love means that you are being yanked back into the past. You're being yanked back into that moment where somebody hurt you. You're being yanked back into that moment where you did something dumb. You're being yanked into your past. And you can't live in the present. And you can't feel good about the future. and you can't feel connected to one another. So they're like anchor points. If you think of it like there's an anchor point in your past that you keep getting yanked back to, you gotta get rid of them. And you do that by going back into your memories and thinking about that moment and then reliving it with love. What would happen if that person that hurt me, if I went back there with love, and reacted completely different in that situation and stood up to them with love. Not judgment, not anger, not resentment. I just said, thank you. This is, you, you did this wonderful thing in my life that got me to where I am to this moment in my past. And I love that. I will cherish it forever, but this is the moment where you hurt me and I have to leave you here because I can't carry you into the future with me if you're gonna to continue to hurt me. And you gently let go. Then you relive your, your entire life from that moment in your mind, in your meditation. You relive that entire life healed with that loving and you get to the present and you feel what it's like to be healed. And then you think about the future. What is that that person you're becoming, what does that feel, that person feel like after living an entire life with that healing? Are you stronger? Are you more confident? Are you more loving every day? Are you less resentful every day? You feel it, you have to feel it. You have to feel it. You have to feel the emotions. So you've been feeling resentment, jealousy, anger, guilt, whatever it is your whole life you gotta go back and replace it with love. So you come back to this moment and just be love. I am love everywhere I go. So I just wanted to give a little update. Uh, I'm gonna be making videos. I am making videos now, starting now. <laughs> They'll be more consistent uh, in the next few weeks. Uh, I'm, I finished my gig with Animaniacs and uh, it was wonderful. That crew was amazing. I loved every minute of it. Uh, I've been working on a project for Netflix for a little while and uh, that's going to wrap up here pretty soon. And uh,
couple weeks, three weeks, I think. And then after that, I got a super secret, exciting project. I feel like my entire life has been living up to this exact moment to do. And I cannot be more excited to share it with y'all. Um, but you gotta wait. But until then, I love you all. And I, I'm thankful to be on this journey with you. And uh, I'm gonna hop on here. If you, if you want me to talk more about meditation, what I'm experiencing, what I'm learning, because I'm still an amateur, but it has changed my life. So I can share what I know. Um, put your questions in the, in the comments and I wanna, I wanna hear what you're thinking. Uh, yeah, till then, keep smiling.